Jeez, man, that works. Stick. Any other wrestling shies? Uh, yeah, I have about? a question. So I don't, I don't know how many of you saw it, but uh, Brad wanted to go to this show, but you know it was Thanksgiving and I was at my dad's, and who knows what you guys were doing. Uh, and he didn't go, but uh, it looks like the new heavyweight champion for the IWS Wrestling yes. League is the sweetest P. Kristara. We've seen Kristara over the years, right? Yes. We've seen her from a P still in the pod all the way now to nice. fully champion. Trained champion of the professor, entire company. Uh, professor H, Shane Hawk. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know the context of the match. If it was booked as a triple threat from the beginning, if she was added, I I, I don't I don't know. Inserted what last minute is my inserted last minute. That's what happened. The, she like took over for my very else, basic understanding or it was turned into somebody. a triple threat. So my question is, yes. regardless how you feel about it, I'm not going to ask that. My question is, do you ever think in the WWE or AEW? That a woman, woman, a woman, a woman mm -hmm. will be the heavyweight or WWE or AEW champion of the world. Yes, Rhea Ripley. You think so? Why not? For me, I think, is it possible to have a woman hold a heavyweight championship? Yes, it absolutely is, because it's all about believability, story, booking, all yeah. of that. Make it possible, and absolutely it can happen. We've seen it with the IC title. It's been done before, so why can't we do it with the heavyweight title? Ultimately, you can book that in a certain way that makes it work. I don't think it works with every single character. Like if, it you know, does if, if you put the title on Adam Cole. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to do it. But like, well, yeah, I, I, I think it does. I think it does work. I think you need to have the right person. I think you need to have the right time as well the, the timing of it is very important um so i don't see why you can't do it but i do understand from certain people's point of view why no i understand it you actually think it's going to happen though do i think it will happen in time yes i do like in I, like yeah. five years um Ooh, i think we're closer to tight. it now than we ever but have yeah. been i do understand that a certain percentage of your main you know it's something you could do on the indies now and and obviously it's being done and we're see, we see intergender matches happen all the time yeah i do acknowledge though i don't agree with it that a certain percentage of a mainstream wrestling companies viewership be it wwe or be it AEW, are going to still be uncomfortable with men and women being in a physical a fake whatever scripted physical altercation it's how it is i don't see it that way because again we go watch the iws shows where it happens every show and it's fine and it doesn't really matter but like there was a big controversy with uh, i think scotty too hotty gil <laughs> yeah controversy there we go uh i think he re he dropped out of a show because he was set to wrestle a female wrestler and he didn't want to he wasn't comfortable with it and it's like is he wrong or is everyone no, wrong for like shaming him yeah if he's not comfortable he's not so it might even be talent who's like you know what i was raised a certain way i i not comfortable with it maybe so maybe five years i don't know maybe 10. max steve austin he's he'll he's down Oof. Mm. <laughs> Um, so I think, I think we're closer now than we have been because it's happening on the Indies. It's happening outside of the two big companies. I could see it happening on like a TNA. Yeah. Uh, Jordan sooner. Grace. Is that, um, Jordan Grace. Absolutely. Uh, she's, now. She's awesome. Yeah. She's I could amazing. See um, so, yeah. I mean, it's it happened with a title before. It happened with China. So it's not completely out of the realm of believability. It happened in WWE, so it's canon. It took very special circumstances, yeah. but it did. Happen. I think that's that's the only. It wasn't difficult. It wasn't or the world the title. Only. Still, it, yeah, it's one of the difficulties with doing it now, though, is if you if a company does it now, and by that I mean WWE or AEW, somebody big, if they do it in such a way that 
it's um it almost is degrading to the woman it's like mm. you you've won this because the guy had beaten another guy had beaten him up and then chained his feet and his hands together hog tied him and then put him they, down on, they do on that his to, shoulder they do that to men too and all sorts of characters like the the lesser characters but then you you're saying only doing that because she's a woman not because yes, of her character exactly like mm. if you if, if oh that's the only way a woman could actually beat a guy mm. is because they had a circumstances for, exactly then i don't yeah. i don't maybe know it, that maybe because of the time that we're in i just don't think that would I, fly yeah. for lack of a better phrase but it's gotta be a clean it. it's gotta win. be it's gotta be done the exact clean, right way and either cleanish. way there will be a level of discourse that I don't think oh, WWE yes, or will. AEW is <laughs> willing and ready to handle. No. Because there will be discourse regardless, <laughs> whether it's, oh, they the woman only won because the men were distracted. And some people are going to say, oh, they put a woman champion. They're, they're, they've are they gone woke. They've gone DEI. Oh, of course. That you would know, all this that. nonsense that's coming out, right? So mm-hmm. there's going to be some level of, of discourse that comes out regardless. And I don't blame a large corporation for saying, eh. We're not going to be the discourse starters. We'll wait for somebody else to do it, and then we will be the late adopters on this trend. It will happen, though. It will happen. It will be Mercedes Monet beating MJF clean in the middle of the ring. That would be be worth it just (laughs) for the fallout. That would be incredible. But my I'll question, fall out. I'll like, fall out with all of you. That's what will happen. My follow up to it, I guess, is that I mean, like, let's look at WWE, for instance, because I don't know how IWS is set up. Do they have a women's championship or like how does, yes. how does it? Yes. So are we saying that the women's championship is lesser than the heavyweight championship? I don't think so. No. I think in okay. public perception, absolutely. Is it done in their storyline and stuff? No. But in terms so the, of public perception, you have said it before that, yeah, for sure, the men's title, especially the, the universal title, is the number one belt in all of wrestling. Not, so it's and not the men's. After it. So, okay, so let's go to WWE because we're more familiar with. So, like, the World Heavyweight Championship, is it the men's World Heavyweight Championship or it's just the World it Heavyweight say Championship? That. It, doesn't it doesn't say, say that. that. But the women's championship is the, women's, the women's championship. championship. The men cannot win that one. And a part yeah, of that is the history of it, right? The title didn't exist, and they weren't allowed to fight for the other one. No, I agree. Yeah. I'm just wondering what they it is had now. To one. Yeah, because they never as of like, right now. I know there was always like controversy because you know, we never call it the men's, but we call it the women's. Why can't we just be equal? So, like, the, my only concern history. was if you make Rhea Ripley the world heavyweight championship, uh, so the champion, you're mm-hmm. saying that the women's championship is is lesser, sort of like because that's like the main prize. Sort of like, shouldn't we just elevate both to try and be on the same level? But or I, I guess it's saying I that don't... you're you're you have a championship that is exclusively for women and then one for both but then you you also have another title that anyone can compete for so it's it's the difference between equality and equity right mm. you're saying that it's not about them be, if we make them equal then only men can go for this and women can go for that well why mm. but if you make it equitable it's like look there are less women in this sport we're going to give them their own division their own title but ultimately anybody can compete for the main title that is, but that, is, that... is the that would be the most prestigious one regard like regardless then because it's kind of yeah, like saying like this is the women's of, division yeah. but some women can compete for this one yeah well no any women could compete for that one well anyone I could don't... but clearly some are actually capable of winning it like Rhea. not is, everyone the, will this is yeah. the difference but because wrestling is Sorry, you can make up whatever scripted. you want. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, yes. You know, if if they did this yeah. in uh, can, in in boxing or or whatever, yeah, then, no, that'd be yeah. I don't know what that. That's be. a completely different tough. ball game, right? Yeah, and we're currently having that discussion with the two main titles in WWE right now, which is the title, and they're trying to create Even a storyline around yeah. that for the Saudi Championship, right? And then you got Who's another one. Championship yeah. is is the championship. It used to be like the SmackDown, the Raw, but now we have two world heavyweight championships. We have two belts that are technically in the same weight class. Well, yeah, or but we always say the WWE is worth more, uh, even though they, I guess, they don't admit that. Well, know. that's it. They're they're it's, trying to say right now, like, do you? It's do, a bigger. Do you, can you look yeah. Gunter in the eye and tell him that your championship isn't worth as much as Cody Rhodes. 
I think it's Gunther gonna, is making that championship you, worth more. Yeah. If we just take the belt off the person, then yeah, we know which one's worth more. If we put it on Gunther, it gets elevated because of Gunther. That's well, a bigger. That's a bigger conversation. That's yeah. Like that's a, all, that's a different conversation. It's a it's a philosophical thing. Who makes the? Is it the belt that makes the champion? Is it a champion that makes the belt? Other way. Either way, with regards to the women's champion and the regular, not the regular, but the other men's, I guess we'll call it championship. Even if you take the women's name off of the women's championship, you're ultimately going to have the same thing. One belt that is held mostly, if not entirely, by men. One belt that is held entirely by women. Yeah. It's it's named such like Jordan said, like it's an equity thing versus equality. Uh, if you were to do equality and say, OK, well, every, there's two belts and everyone can compete for all of them and it doesn't matter. It's likely going to turn out that both of those belts will be held by by men storyline wise, physicality wise. So, yeah, you know what? I think it's just a concession we have to make where one belt is specifically the women's championship. One belt is. Yes, the men can only compete for, but women can too. But I think Kristara is the first women's champion uh, of or no, women's like the, IWS champion. The, yeah, uh, the first IWS champion who is I a know woman. What you mean. Yeah, yeah. If I'm not mis, I, I, I think Luke so Bisto too. Held it once or twice, but I don't think she did. I yeah, think I think she's the first. That's why I'm interested, like how they proceed. Like, what's her first defense? Like, wh where are they going to go with this? I think she should fight Benjamin Tall. Yeah. I mean, but anyone really like, I don't, I don't think anyone. this changes their plan. I think nope. whether it's Benjamin Tall, whether it's Melanie Havoc, whether it's, I don't know, Nick. Oh, Age. she could find another woman for it. Maybe. Right. <laughs> she could. Yeah, That's true. Sure. Why not? Okay. I didn't That's think about interesting that. Cause That's like true. the UFC, for example, doesn't have the women's UFC championship. They have the women's division, the men's division, and you have mm. belts based on weight class. They don't say the women's yeah. lightweight champion unless you're trying to specify which division you're talking oh. about. It's not called the women's lightweight championship. And the men's, no, it's just the lightweight they, championship and the lightweight championship. You, they will never you, cross you just, division. You just know. That's not going to happen. Yeah. And Frog if you're, court. I think in, in common vernacular, people would say the lightweight champion, you immediately think of the men's division. And when you say the women's lightweight champion, it's like how you differentiate it. Maybe it's because one came before the other. I don't know. But it does yeah. seem to be that's, the common thing out there when referring to these championships but ufc doesn't designate i don't believe which is cool so i feel like if we get to a point where it's not so weird that like rhea ripley becomes the world heavyweight champion or the wwe champion we're gonna have like women's champions maybe get, like giving up that belt to go for you know the wwe championship it's kind of like the next step up so it's almost like the women's thing would be a, a mid-card title sort of depending how regular we see a woman become the WWE champion, unless it's like a one-off or a random, like a uh, Rhea Ripley. I don't know, but it's interesting. And I wonder, like, that's why I asked if we're going to see it in the mainstream, because it was a big deal for IWS. And a lot of people are going to have strong opinions. Like my initial reaction obviously is like, I don't know about that. I don't know mm -hmm. how I feel about that. But then I was like, I took a minute to think about it. Like, I'm interested to see where they go, I, I, what, what they feel or how they're going to book this or, or what, you know, how the other titles look now or what they're you know what they're going to do i'm I'm probably going to be in attendance for the next when she when she defends it because i want to see what the probably. hell did they do with it yeah i'm, I'm it's more canon definitely, yeah. right in iws it's not something we're unused to in wwe yeah. or in any other league it would kind of be more of a surprise because it doesn't happen often but every single yeah. show we go to we see mixed wrestling doesn't matter yeah. no who you are sure. what you are just get in the sure. ring but fight. this yeah. this is a big difference for her to win the yeah the, yes the, it's big you know it's, the it's huge title all that to say having watched Kristara <laughs> like when she was opening the show and she was on the pre-shows of iws clearly like yeah. fresh out of the dojo i remember yeah of andrew stott uh awesome to see uh this this progression from her the future's bright uh for Kristara and for iws of course we'll be at the next show most definitely to see her first title defense and yeah, and that's I'll, a bigger, I'll that's swim a the pond. I'll swim <laughs> the pond. Go. I'll come see it. Let's do it. You can also just watch on Triller if you want to instead. Well, that's probably uh, <laughs> or on Fight Network or whatever and, it's called. Uh, less hazardous to my life. Might, so, might yeah. be, might be. But Jason, great subject. It's it's definitely a conversation that you cannot just have in in twenty minutes. But we certainly tried. Uh, but yeah. That's It'll all. probably come up again. It you know, maybe this will. is just yes. the the first step. Who knows? Oh, yes. Maybe you want to hear more about it. We'd also like to know what you think, because maybe we're crazy, but we need your opinions to know where the hell we're standing. Maybe we're way off base and we're, we're completely wrong here. So I'd love to hear from you, the jobbers of the universe, 
We are, of course, the four jobbers at the four jobbers everywhere on social media. Thank you so much for listening. We'll see you next freaking week. Okay. <laughs> it's a dirty one, but it stunk. <sighs> the whole point of hanging on that stick is you didn't have to hold in your hands. Yeah, but I'm trying. I'm trying to do a Mr. Kennedy. Nice stick, Mr.